Um, so don't try this at home, but this is how we started out in the 70s, um, the early 70s. We had people from the Menninger Clinic going to India and hooking up uh, the Indian shamans, and um, now we're hooking up Buddhist monks, as you might have read in recent news tablets. But um, we wanted to understand how they could sit on a bed of nails and not bleed out, not bleed to death, and um, that their brain waves were measured, and their heart rates, and their galvanic skin response, and all different aspects of physiology were measured, and they had complete control over it. And a whole different belief system about what you could control and what you couldn't. Back to my science teacher who thought she couldn't warm up her hands. And by the way, she did warm her hands up after she saw me do it. Because she then allowed herself to believe that she could. So what you believe is really important in biofeedback, it turns out. It's not just a matter of, you know, hook them up, you know, tell them what to. You really have to find out what, what they think. 